In this video, you will learn how to easily create a 3D bubble or balloon text effect in Illustrator. With this technique, you will have complete control over every letter and discover the best settings to achieve a photorealistic render with a plastic look. To begin, I want to add some curves to my text so it's not just in a boring straight line, and we can do that with the elliptical tool. Just draw out an oval shape, and then once your shape is to your liking, you can go up to your text tool and select the type on a path tool. Just type on the center anchor point, and uh, I want to increase my text size as well. And then with the direct selection tool, we can center this text by dragging out these handles. Then once my text is centered, I'm going to change my font to Ziklis Medium, which gives me more of that bubble look. And this font is currently available on Adobe Fonts. Now in my characters panel, I'm just going to increase my tracking size so the letters are spaced out some more in preparation for when I do convert it into 3D. The next step you want to do is to go up to Object and select Expand, and then hit OK, which turns our live text into an object. As you see, it's all connected, so we want to go up to Object and Ungroup. So now we can move each letter individually, which is exactly what we want. Once I move these letters around, we will transform this into 3D text. I know I want my text to be red, so I'm just going to highlight all these objects, select my fill, and then just choose a nice red color. Now finally, with your text selected, you can transform this into 3D by going up to Effect, 3D and Materials, and then selecting Inflate. If you plan on rotating your letters, make sure to enable the Inflate Both Sides checkbox. Now moving on to the materials options down at the bottom, you want to increase your metallic slider. I find between 0.50 and 0.60 looks good. And then for the roughness slider, I find between 0.15 and 0.25 looks good, depending on your object color. Moving on to the lighting options, you can choose one of these presets at the top, which all work pretty well. Or in this little preview window, you can select this white circle and move your light source manually. Now at the bottom of your lighting options, you can enable shadows, and you'll likely need to readjust your lighting source, but this adds a whole nother level of realism to your artwork. Now if you want to refine individual letters, you can rotate them by selecting your letter, and then either using the vertical or horizontal crossbars to rotate it left or right, or you can use the outer circle to rotate it around in a circle. Now finally, to make this all tie together and look photorealistic, let's hit the render button at the top of our 3D and materials panel. And that is how you can easily create your own photorealistic inflated text in Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, it would mean a lot if you left a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't already. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.